Well, electric vehicles uh, just started coming to BC a couple of years ago. And uh, around uh, earlier this summer, there were about 1,300 cars on the road. And so there's been a really significant increase, uh, probably doubled over the last year, for example. Um, so it's, it's, it's growing rapidly. BC is really fortunate in that we have uh, very clean electricity. And so electric cars represent a, an opportunity to really make significant reduction in emissions. Well, there's about, in total, about 600 uh, public stations that are available for people to use, like the one here. Um, and what we've seen, just like the growth in cars, there's been about a doubling in the use of those stations as well. So that's really great to see. BC has always been an early adopter of, of these types of green technologies. Um, and we did have an incentive that helped um, people to reduce the cost by $5,000. Um, so that incentive, uh, when it went away in uh, February earlier this year, people would still continue to buy cars, but not quite at the same rate. So it's about uh, half the rate of growth that we saw earlier. Um, so jurisdictions like um, Quebec that do have incentives have continued to see uh, significant growth, and our growth has dropped uh, somewhat. Well, it's really about what you know BC's goals are and how quickly we want to see this transition. Um, people are buying the cars. The infrastructure is obviously really important uh, piece to it. Um, so, um, <clears throat> but if we want the most uh, rapid rates of growth, then then incentives are important to increase that. Well, I think if you looked at the experience of uh, places like Oregon and Washington, south of the border, they're probably you know we're in a similar position to where we are right now. And in Oregon, um, you know there are about uh, five or six thousand uh, cars on the road right now. They've seen in, in two years. Uh, you know, it, it doubled each year approximately. So I think we could look to see that kind of growth. And, um, you know, in the long term, this is, this is something that could have a very significant uh, impact, just like many other technologies, if you think about how many of us have digital cameras and, you know, 10 or 20 years ago, how many of us had digital cameras. We probably wouldn't have believed the change that, uh, that occurred. I remember arguing with somebody about, you know, that, that photographers would still use um, film cameras and, you know, it's it's just the way people uh, go these days.